Welcome to episode 60 of the Hellbound podcast. We're back again with filmmaker Ian Rayburn. We start this episode off talking about his Hellraiser fan film. You know, I do a lot of horror stuff and I work with a lot of actors and they love getting covered in blood and I always have to ask and just say, please don't post anything. You know, it was yeah. hard to not post when we were making the Hellraiser fan film because it was, you know, it Everything all looked, looked so great. cool. It, looked, it was awesome, man. It was awesome. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Yeah. No, I'm really proud of that. I, I, was I didn't know how I was even really going to do it and I just had it in my head and then it sort of worked out and I'm just I'm such a fan of the series and the character and the fact well, look, well, look how it look how it panned out like the, in terms of having a um the female center by you know in terms of the lead well and that's a wild thing world. too yeah like I, I remember reading the article and they were like oh and they can i was well, like what we perceive as female anyway for sure yeah no for sure and like the hell yeah, pre- yeah. you know and i and i read the hell about i mean i love it you know obviously in like the novella and and i think um you know clive barker is it also is like a, a, a multifaceted talent with a lot yeah. of the stuff that he can do but it it's i you know i even had like when i you know posting a fan film i had people reaching out and telling me that i was stealing and you know it's like what fans of you watched it did you watch it i you know i i made sure to put the the and i think it's just yeah some people a lot a lot of people did like it i'm very grateful of course it has a built-in audience so i did get a lot of feet and i'm still getting a lot of feedback on it which is funny and great um but there was a handful of people that weren't happy that yeah told told me that i was you got you got feedback from an, an icon from the original right well, Ashley Lawrence, like, she, I don't know if she, I, I hope she watched it. I did, truth be told, yeah. like, I messaged everybody involved with it on social media that I could, you know, like Anthony Hecox, like the director of the third one or yeah. his account. I don't even, like, I don't even know these are real accounts. And like, um, the guy oh, that's that directed, man, yeah. the guy that directed the last three, uh, just to send, I sent it to Ashley Lawrence and, and Doug Bradley, of course, and yeah. nobody, messaged until then the release of the original maybe it was trending more and she was yeah, who yeah, even yeah, knows yeah. how any of that works i i don't and that that's how i got very very lucky with the, who the judges were that for the first it's incredible moment. oh absolutely but you'd um, never know and i mean you know i, I yeah. to to tie that sort of back into you know some positive mental health that i've really worked for myself i mean really what's the worst that's going to happen nothing especially reaching out you know you yeah. never know and and look at who you got for the festival right yeah it was it was nuts man and then calling joe alves at his house speaking to his wife and his daughter and amazing just blew my amazing. mind blew i was mind. i was um i was so giddy and then i watched a tedx about how to interview people that are well established and the oh, first thing was one of the thing was really it was um just say something that's kind of personal, but they'll kind of open them up. And then I talked because I'd spoke. His daughter runs the Joe Alves uh, official Instagram account. Yep. And there's a Kickstarter now to make this documentary about him because oh, his cool. cinema, you know, his um, production design is fucking legendary. Of Hitchcock, course. Carpenter, Spielberg. Yeah. Oh yeah. So um, uh, I asked about his daughter and how nice it was to you know, uh, watch movies with his daughter because I, I know, and then I referenced the name and he fucking lit up. He lit up. And then when you watch it and I asked him, I think it's in the, I think it's in the Hellbound interviews when I asked him about his daughter and he was just so fucking happy. And then yeah. he talks about going to the cinema in like the 50s and all this other shit. And I was like, and you should have seen my notes then. My notes were like, <laughs> and then the, the key, I, I'm not sure if you watched it, but the key thing was the, I, I asked him it. about the chandeliers on the cars. And he he was so happy he got asked about that because you can you know no disrespect to Joe he was an exceptional get judge like so generous he's retired yeah, yeah. so so generous and I loved him to bits he obviously is, gets asked the same questions all the time of course of course and how many times you know can you say different answers so it's very difficult so I was really careful about same with Alex Proyas how yep. to ask the question to get new answers yep. so I asked him about the chandeliers and he said. Yeah, the production buyer thought that's the kind of chandelier I wanted. I wanted the dome to go oh, yeah, 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 inside yeah. So, the car. Okay, yes, I did. Okay, so I know 
I, it, I, so I never watched, I, 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 for some silly reason, I forget you film, you record them as well. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah. only listen to your podcast. I only listen to it. I never yeah. watch it. I forget theirs. So until you were telling that story, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember listening to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking exactly, about that. That's yeah. wild. Yeah, and man. It was like wild. she brought these things and they were completely wrong and they couldn't take them back. So what and then the they had to buy 20 more because they were getting smashed up when they were going around. <laughs> and it was like he was so happy talking about it. It was like he brings out props from Starman. Oh and I was God. like, my head was going. Bah. Wow. And I was trying to control that, you know, that mega geekdom. But you're not paying at a con to wait in line to go and get him to sign something. You're calling as an industry professional and a fan yeah. for a, a job, really. I mean, he's, you know, it's like, you know, I'm interviewing you as a part of the, as part of this festival, this, you know, and that's yeah. incredible, man. That's, it's, you know. It was so much fun. Incredible. And like my wife says, are you going to do it again? And it, it's very difficult because sure, this year about work and, the the thing with the people at Subri Indie uh, 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 Creature Convention, I'm going to ask them, and if I can get the films to screen as previews like a regular film festival in bricks and mortar cinemas, then Film Freeway opens up like Pandora's box. Yeah, it opens up like this, <laughs> and uh, you you can be if you typed in horror festival on Film Freeway. You're accessible across all of Film Freeway. Yeah. So the only way people knew about my festival was having a direct link. Sure. So that's my whole kind of, that's where the energy went. So that's my aim. If I can do it next year, I will. And even my sister-in-law, she's offered to put money into it sure, for yeah. marketing or whatever. But the, the sheer amount of fucking submissions I'll probably get, would be it'd be just monstrous. And um, you, you, unlike other pieces of shit, actually watch all the movies oh my god yeah and i don't know if you've ever like i did it i i did a tally on a short film years ago of the view count versus the amount of festival i submitted to then the decline the the not accepted notices and the wow. viewer per declined ratio just didn't add up yeah it's you know. crazy isn't it that's a no. business in itself film festivals are a business it's a whole uh yeah. You know, I mean, it's so it's it's I love it, and they're legitimate, and you do a legitimate one, you know, for fans by fans, you know, um, proper communication. And again, I will say, it's just you. <laughs> it's not a group <laughs> of people. That it was yeah, it was like it was Nadia about. Nadia last time, and Michael was more involved, but because his film uh, Haunting Darkness, yeah, and then yeah, it was yeah. like, how do I make this? Because last time we had uh, um, cosplay, and we had a a cosplayer from Argentina who did an incredible uh, um, Hell Priestess. And it was like... Oh, I fucking it remember was that too. Unreal. Yeah, you had like little... You had like little bits right in the middle, like yeah, throughout. Yeah yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I love that. So yeah, man. Because it was me this time producing the whole festival, like, right, what yeah. do I do? What can I do? And then I saw Alex Proyas was talking about because I've you know I told I've revealed on the podcast and spoken to you briefly on messages on Instagram that I use Mid Journey for the artwork mm -hmm. and incredible it was like okay morally I had to get past it in my head in terms of I've used Fiverr like for the podcast artwork I use Fiverr for a lot of stuff I've got artwork you know like I work with one particular artist from Indonesia. Mm -hmm. And he did the the Hellbound. He's on Slayer Talk. He's done a bunch of stuff, and I can't afford to create art for every film. And do you remember in the Isolation Film Festival, I created those posters for every film. Yeah, man, of course. And I was working with someone that was putting their time into it, and yeah, then sure. they wanted to get paid. And I understood why they wanted to get paid after, after thirty films because there was loads to do. <laughs> That's a lot of work. Yeah. And then I thought, right, I don't know how many submissions I'm going to get, and it's going to be only for the officially selected films. Then I started looking at Mid Journey, and Alex Preuss was talking about it. And the way he was using it, I go, in my head, I'm going to do this. I'll accept the moral kind of, you know, I felt queasy about it. And then I started looking. Some of the results are incredible, but I thought, right, I only want squares. And then some things are hyper realistic and look, they're incredible mega pieces of art, like a proper yeah. concept art. And I thought, what can I do in time? And then when I started to produce them, they got better and better because of the way the key keywords work and the commas wow, and yeah. all that shit. I know 
and then zero I, of AI yeah. art. So even you telling me the program, I was like, what the fuck is Yeah, that? and I and it was like slowly, slowly, slowly ramping up in terms of knowledge, people knowing about it. Yeah. And then and then when I created yours for Blue Devil, like this kind of looks like Ian as well. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Yeah, and they came, I every single one. And you know, I I I and I, you know, I was very grateful, you know, that that we even got in and then yeah you may you know and then you made the poster i couldn't believe it it's like well i didn't again i didn't have a poster for this film because i didn't make this yeah with the idea that i would market it as a film for festivals or as some, you know it just sort of became what it became and so it's yeah. like well i would love to use this as the poster then because it's awesome you know you did i had no idea i was like alex who's making all the like are you doing this? <laughs> what is how are you getting yeah. all these they all look incredible and that's where that's where I was stretched. Then, like everyone should know this. I'm looking at the camera now. Yeah. Uh, I was, I was, <laughs> yeah, I was living on fumes. My like, my friend was seriously ill. That's passed away now, and she, he was sorry. He was the same age or a few couple of years, literally two years older than me, in a hospice. So I've explained this to yourself, and it's public knowledge now. I posted about it briefly, and that's why I'm having a break from my main social media. Yeah. And um, it was a, it was a. And your film hit me at the right time, if I'm honest. It hit, hit me at the right time. And it was, yeah. and they're just the, like the conversation with your mom, because it was just, yeah, it, it worked so well. And I think timing wise for everyone that saw it, they loved it. Um, and then when, when I was like, yeah, this kind of looks like Ian, this is kind of fucking freaky. <laughs> but there, there's no like minor alterations you can make yeah. in the artwork. It's such a, interesting it's it's a whole fucking what new world you know what i mean yeah i don't i can't even what are your thoughts on ai art and... um i'm i'm really not a fan because i can't make those small changes sure yeah yeah it's yeah, like yeah. unless you know if you know if you know the cheat codes on how to order the words and use specific phrases you can get stellar pieces of art but it's not like uh, if I ask you to do a tweak on this edit and you put you you know you you leave the cam the shot on the actor a little bit longer because you're expressing a feeling, AI edit editing which will probably come in at some point. Sure, it will not understand that yet oh, at yet. least. <laughs> yeah, that, you know what I mean. So if that yeah. happens, I'm out of a fucking job. Well, that's it. I know. <laughs> then we when yeah. it's it is wild, you know. <laughs> thinking about you know like terminator and skynet you know always to talk movies and be like yeah, they're yeah. gonna come alive but it's like you know in a realistic way yeah now this ai um art and i don't know if this is real i have no idea but somebody had sent me a friend of mine sent me this article and it was this software that can scan photos like social media photos people posting you know from certain events or doing yeah. tiktok dances or whatever and can scan where it is and then use <laughs> the ai server to scan through video cameras or or street yeah. si like uh, stop sign recordings or whatever to then find a video recording of that picture being taken wow so if you if you're talking about that picture you took at the back of the plane you posted that photo you could run it in this software allegedly and it would be able to if it if if it existed and there was a security camera or something live it works really well for outside stuff it could find a video of you taking a photo of that plane Oof. isn't that fucking crazy <laughs> if this is real i remember yeah. there was a scene in what's i loved csi and csi new york okay. Okay. Where there was like a piece of software that did that in the first season of CSI New York, and that was years ago, what two thousand seven really? or whatever. But it was f obviously fake. Sure, of course, of course. But it's they like thought thing about it. In, there's a very specific moment in Enemy of the State where Will Smith wa walks into the uh, lingerie shop and he's buying something for his wife, and he's he's got that shopping bag, and his friend, you know, Jason Lee, puts that thing in his bag, and. Jack Black's like, oh, we're going to spin around the vertical, and he's like a 3D scan of the bag. I'm like, that's complete bullshit. But there's things now that can project these things that can actually really? do those things now, like that thing in, like you just uh, said about that. It yeah, is, yeah, yeah. It, it was like iPads in Star Trek. You know, these things are. Right, of course. Of course. Now. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, flip communication devices and oh my video God. screens. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Yeah, it's. It and yeah. it, it's all 
it's sort of <laughs> happening now. And yeah, the AI thing, it's a little, I have no, you know, deep fake. I was like, oh, do they even need to have actors Oh my anymore? God, the Tom like, Cruise one is insane. Well, right. Or do you just need people that look sort of like it? And then you can, yeah. you know, was it, was it James Dean? There was some, I think it was a German movie. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but they, the director was like, it, I'm pretty sure it was James Dean as well was like, I, he needs to be in this movie as a character. And so they deep faked him legit. And I don't think it was received that well, but I remember reading or hearing about that. Maybe I'm also completely fucking wrong, but I remember mm. hearing that and thinking like as a filmmaker, Oh man, like, I haven't even hit my stride yet. I hope it doesn't change on my way up. Oh, yeah, but yeah, then it's yeah. like AI actors or, you know, yeah. um, cause I read a really interesting article about, terrifier 2 and all the craze around it and how one specific thing about why they thought it was so popular was also literally because it's 98 percent practical and so you're not only are you seeing these super violent things okay but we're so used to seeing even in horror movies cg gore cg blood and then just cg effects not not even just superheroes and all that but you know cg modeling on backgrounds and reflections smooth, smoothing and of actors faces smoothing, you know, I know someone that does that for a certain actress oh really really yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. there you go so that's like a job and so with terrifier 2 as as that person said to me i didn't know it was supposed to look so cheap well it what well, it wasn't supposed to it it was because it is <laughs> low budget yeah. movie with a small crew you know but but i think there's something psychological about people watching it where they're like maybe they realize it or maybe not but there's something different i'm not used to seeing all this and he's choosing to show me so yeah. you're you know that is a okay that's obviously not a real dead body but that's a puppet that's a you know and we know because we were fans of horror and fantasy movies and science fiction movies through the whatever 50s 60s 70s 80s 90s yeah. where it was all creature feature you know makeup yeah. effects props costumes puppets you know all of that amazing stuff and it's it's different oh yeah i'm i'm bored i'm bored as, i'm so done with cg and i've stopped going to see marvel movies not because they're they're bad but i, I i'm 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 like dead into it now it's and like and like moment, yeah. like you were saying about films in over the last decades, you look at a film like Legend, yeah. Ridley Scott's Legend. Where's Tim? Oh Curry? my god, like those horns would have been CG. And the you would have costume been, probably would have been CG. And it was like there's a, there's not much CG apart from like the mirror effect when he steps out of the mirror with his Sure, but even that, you know, is of it, you know, you think of like Labyrinth, right? Oh um, yeah. You know, that I think of all the puppetry and the practical sets and yeah you know it's your you, there's so many yeah there's some of the you know david bowie going in and out of the mirror and you know there's some wonky 80s visual effects great bring it the fuck on too because i love that but you know when she's yeah, talking yeah. to the creatures they're really there and yeah. you know that's, that jim henson yeah. stuff man and oh it's oh my god legendary it's legendary yeah and we Tangible. miss a lot of that stuff and I say that as somebody who uses a lot of CGI, CG, CGI and FX because I just don't. It's again, I don't have the budget. It's the budget. And... It's it's the budget. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. one last comment before we kind of uh, uh, wrap up in a moment. Sure. Buddy. I love the I love the effect of the cloth in um, your film Blue Devil. You know where the the, the in the box. Oh, in the sheet. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, man. That was the classic that... conjuring yeah. egg. Yeah, it kind of reminded me a little bit of, you know, this is the thing about the CG and it kind of it connects to this. When Kruger comes out of the wall in the first film. Oh, yeah. The latex or whatever they used, genius. Yeah. Yeah. You see it in the new one, CG, CG. horrendous. So and it kind of mean, it reminded me of that a little bit in terms of the effect. And I was like, yeah, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, I, I was really happy with how that came out. I had no idea. I've never done it before. Um. <clears throat> And I was reading on the Reddit horror subreddit about cool jump scare moments. It was like a thread. And somebody said the scene in The Conjuring when she's doing the laundry outside and the sheet blows off oh the my God, clothesline awesome. onto a figure and then evaporates and blows away. And I was like, 
Yeah. And so I try to do it with myself. It's the only other person. And I'll give a shout out to my buddy, Steve. Uh, he's not, he's I, one of my best friends. I love him to death. Not an actor, but he came and stood in as figure. Cause I really, I tried to do it by myself. I don't even know what the fuck I was thinking. <laughs> Possible. Like I had the hanging. Oh yeah, my yeah, God. Yeah. It was a nightmare. Uh, <laughs> And it just really came out. It looked really good. I was like, yeah. wow, that, you know, I, I always like when stuff happens and then you look back at it and you're like, oh shit, that it looks good, actually man. looks pretty good. It, and my favorite edit of yours um, is when you see yourself outside and you're using your iPhone as a light. As the and light, the step yeah. forward, it's the, it's the cut. It's that, it's that kind of classic Ian Rayburn shot, you know, the kind of 50. Yeah. Um, and the, the wide shot when you step forward out, you know, towards you and you go, oh, shit, it's the it's the speed of the edit and out, you know, inside and the trip. And yep. Love that sequence, man. Really great. Cool. Thanks, man. Yeah. What yeah. was that? What was behind that? This is obviously, you know, it's not a spoiler or anything. What's actually behind that hole in the wall in the basement? Uh, is it like, like is it like kind of under the house space kind portal, of thing? Dude. It's a swirling black portal that was telling me to film yeah. in there. And, I was like, um, it's Candyman. No, it's uh, it's an unfinished part of the house. Um, so literally like dirt and rocks and and it's, it's fucking, sick. Uh, and my, and it's in my brother's. It? What's that? It's like barbarian. Yeah, like I'm exactly like, like that. The most. We'll talk about this in the future, but. <laughs> Why the fuck would you step down into that goddamn like ancient steps? You know, steps? it's one of those. It's it's. <laughs> I I hundred percent agree with you, and I love that it. But gave I understand you that it reaction. Well. It's like I love that movie. It was so fun, yeah. and yet it still. I don't even want to say su suffered because that's not even a bad word because I loved it. It it still had those classic horror movie tropes. Yeah. Where yeah. I was like, doesn't need to. I wonder if he's just putting them in on yeah. purpose just because to yeah. make people go because it's a really smart movie and and i was just like yo why the fuck are they <laughs> why are they going <laughs> you know yeah, and i yeah. sort of love that um uh, i love what I a love fun so movie much. yeah and, and the different. level of enjoyment in terms of that kind of genre it, yeah i loved uh don't breathe I yeah, thought Don't great. Breathe. Alvaro, Stephen yeah. Lang is, is a fucking great actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that movie in terms of everything about it. And as soon as I started understanding the law of Barbarian, yes. and I couldn't remember where the fuck I'd seen the the, the father from. Oh, Richard, Brake, uh, Richard Brake? Richard Brake. And it was like the the guy that killed Bruce Wayne's parents in The Dark, The uh, Batman Begins. Oh, that actor, yeah. And yeah. he's like that. Yeah, man. He's in all Rob Zombie movies. He's um, terrific, man. He's he was one of the oh god, and fans are gonna keep people watch this. I'm not a do you watch Game of Thrones? Uh, I've not seen the newest one, I did like it apart from the last season. Okay, well, the or like the the like the original Game of Thrones, like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. like when the ice world came, I don't watch it, but I watched yeah, 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 two yeah, episodes yeah. the first episode, and I was like, okay. And then I just so happened to be at, with my brother when they're watching the lat. So, when the ice creatures came. He was one of those too. He does a lot of creature effects work. He's got hundred credits. He's just a great, yeah. great actor. He's and got that kind lines. of that kind of face Get like face. Um, Peter yeah. Weller. Oh, great! Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He's got that vibe going on. That character, except he's just not famous like Peter Weller in the sense that he does a yeah. lot of character <laughs> acting roles. But who cares? That's still awesome. What a great career! Yeah. Like I'm not shitting on him. I mean, it's celebrity is is luck in my opinion. You know, you yeah. can be a, a great actor, a working actor and then just never get a big break. And then, you know, Alex Blackburn comes around with this cool little indie, sure, whatever, <laughs> we're not going to make any money, but we'll have some fun on it. And then it goes and, you know, gets to con, you know what yeah. I mean? And he's like, now he's playing the lead in a dad role that he's never played ever. And now yeah, he's yeah, back yeah. on the money, right? And that's like, I love that as well. You know, like the kind of older... Yeah. Nicholas Cage, Mickey Rourke style, although Mickey Rourke sort of fucked it up, but he's gone. Yeah, the wrestler was incredible, you oh, know. Yeah, and again, Aronofsky, I love him. I love him in Domino, that Tony Scott film as well. Oh, great. Domino, yeah, Keira yeah. Knightley. Uh, um, yeah. Tony Scott, legend, absolutely. I was devastated when he when he oh, passed yeah. away. Yeah, that. Um, I, so yeah, you I should mean, have. I should, should, 
Oh, I know man. we would we'll do man. We'll we'll definitely make like a start another uh, like five different podcasts and we'll just I'll see what to host on Poppy. <laughs> Um, so I, I'm, I'm winding up um, Isolation Film Festival uh, page. So all the web pages from that and the stuff with Vance Burberry and the how I got those judges was, was awesome as well. And that's going to end up on alexblackburn.com or Good. something about Mike, you know, like showcase stuff. And Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, I'll end up doing another... Like, I, like the shed I'm building outside is going to be a studio more than anything else. So oh, awesome. it's going to be a podcast thing more than anything else. So great. Um, but that's, that's kind of like in the next year. Uh, but yeah, um, you should have the final art now for, uh, I did. I saw that box. come in. Thank you so much. And again. I used, really um, I used gigapixel Topaz as gigapixel too. Okay. So it's not, it's like 10,000 by 10,000 pixels. So it's, must- Oh, that's it. Jeez. Um, Kind of um, but I am print. I am going to send you uh, <laughs> the, the 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 print. Uh, I'm, I've still not done it. Yet. I'm going to try and do it soon because uh, it's part. Know. It's the final prize thing. For I, I Hellbound. So grateful. I mean, it's the it's the second. It would be the second ever physical award thing, sort of prize, yeah, if you will, yeah. that I ever got. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you, well, so, well, so deserved, I really well deserved, man. Oh, thank you so much, dude. And yeah, anytime you want to talk movies or anything, or yeah, we'll work I got it out, man. Yeah, because I, uh, yeah, I love it, and 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 you just remind me a lot of stuff that I forget too, and you know, yeah. and I and I'm full of verbal diarrhea, so we can just go on for ages, you know. Well, that's that's the thing. Yeah, me too. And it's also like, hey, look, I'm. That's not like I'm, you know, going out every night and having these meaningful conversations with people. I'm storing it all out, brother. Like I, you know, yeah, this yeah. is great. This is yeah so like good I'll, for I'll my be, i'll be picking your brain about i'm gonna the thing i was supposed to shoot uh, with my friend that's in the original version of justice league she's got a few lines dialogue in that oh, she's really? gonna be in the short film i'm working on and um, i'm just really excited to see uh some like and yeah and proper I'm narrative better, work better look better look good because i'm fucking put so much effort into it yeah it's got zero budget did. short film well yeah um I can't wait but yeah, I'm gonna pick your brain about that, and uh, yeah, um, we'll keep in touch, man, and and, and look after yeah. yourself, and Thank tell you, your buddy. mom she she was great in the film. I did, I do every time, and I will tell her too. I'll, that I'll, line, just, that line, my I my didn't say it back then. It. <clears throat> I love that your wife loves it. That's my mom genuinely has said that to me my entire life when I used to wrestle, yeah. and she did never, she never watched me wrestle. I, I also did some pretty extremely violent wrestling and she knew about it, but didn't really know about it. But before every time I wrestled, whether it was in Canada or America, I would call her when I had a cell phone and she would say, be careful. You know, I love you and you're in my pocket. And she would say that to me. So again, it was just, that's just, it was just a happy accident, beautiful miracle that that's just what she said. It's not like she says that to me all the time anyways yeah. now, you know, and, uh, but it's such a kind of soft way. Like, Oh a, yeah. You can always, are. you can always call me. It's such a kind of yeah, throwaway yeah, 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 thing yeah. to say, but no, it just worked so well with in the yeah, confines yeah. of the story. She didn't know she was a part of. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm going to use that tactic, but it's going to blow over my face. I bet. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, you have to be very, and I mean, I'm a horror guy, so a lot of what I film is technical. Right so you have to be in on it because there's so many moving parts. That was one of the things I was like, I'm just gonna, I'm not really in a position, an emotional position, to have to want to direct or do anything. As well as I think I'll get a better yeah. performance yeah. with just having it be real. So, yeah. Um, the uh, the last thing I'll tell you about this is this is completely off topic. Great. But do you see the this is this is the wedding ring I chose. So you've been playing with it, yeah. Um so this is this is aircraft titanium from Canada. So okay. this is made Great. by a Canadian company. It was sent it, it says you'll never walk alone on the inside, which is oh. a phrase for Liverpool Football Club. Okay. And who's my and, and and it's kind of you know a thing between me and my wife. And this design, I don't know if you can see it close, you can't see it close, it's got like ridges in it. Okay. Yeah. And this is the this is the same wedding ring that Ed Harris wears in the Abyss. Have you seen the You've seen really? the Abyss? You know the Bruh, one, Cameron. It's not of his. It's not, his, it's not the one no, from the but, film. But he. Yeah, um, I was just. I, I was. My mind was just like. Did Did you know that? Did you get Ed Harris? Yeah. 
design really so basically in the audio commentary of the dvd because it's never been released on blu-ray cameron okay. changed that yeah and um they they i think cameron talks about the the company in canada that made the ring for the film no shit and you remembered and, and heard that i no i saw the screenshots okay and then i remember that and then i thought right um air, you know the abyss wedding ring and the company sells it as the abyss wedding ring no and they show way screenshots and it's the same web link from like when when did the dvd get released what fucking 98 99 something like that oh my goodness and then i found they it haven't and then i came out with a newer dvd of the of the abyss no they haven't no there's no blu-ray there's no blu-ray or 98 anything. 99 oh my god yeah it was like when the first blu-rays and like the matrix came on that click box yeah that was around wow. that same period yeah so, so you buy the abyss ring. That's incredible. And the funny thing is, you know how he put he he throws it down the toilet. Yeah. Because his queen bitch of the universe arrives. That's one of the lines from the film. Uh, that someone else says that line, and she's the designer of the the underwater rig and all that shit. And it's a classic, great movie. He throws it down the toilet. He puts his arm in to get it back, and his arms blue for the entire movie, because it's a chemical toilet. Sure. Yes. And oh my God! And he has that cleaner on him or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah. he's the the hydraulic doors like bulkheads on Titanic. Not quite the same, but it closes off section so it doesn't flood. And he yes. sticks his hand in the uh, door, so the hydraulic door. And there's a real tight macro shot of the wedding ring because it's so strong and made out of this aircraft uh, uh, titanium. The Stop. door doesn't close, so it eventually someone can come to the other side and there's water coming through breaks the door open he can get through and when i was this is the funniest thing when i was i don't know if you've seen the pictures on social media the fence the mega fence i'm building okay. yeah outside it's like it looks like a jurassic okay. park fence okay because <laughs> it has to be three meters tall which is massive yeah that's pretty- i'm like one one eight or whatever why um, so tall? meters um because there's the potential thing. wheelchair access my you know possibly we need in the future because this is the house we're gonna you know potentially living forever sure because it overlooks the next door neighbor even though we've got a great relationship one of our neighbors calls the foss there's this whole thing with the council nonsense <sighs> and then we agreed to have a fence so it has the fence has to be there forever now yeah which is what we always wanted she won't ever listen to this um but it's three <laughs> meters tall but it's made out of what it looks like jurassic park you know what i mean because it's the scale of it's ridiculous so- and when we were working out the other day the huge piece of wood lands on the ring and stops my finger getting crushed. Just like the fucking films. Do they advertise on there? Like also no, I'm like... Not, I need to tell them. I need to absolutely <laughs> tell them like, because it was yeah, like, like but the thing is if if I'm ever in a, a Harris, serious protect you two. If I'm ever in a serious accident and this ring gets ripped off, it'll take my finger with it. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> That's you know I mean? uh... so and it scratches everything. It fucking scratches everything. <laughs> so if I'm like, you should see the nice porcelain sink upstairs. It's got a fucking big scratch on it. So I'm like, yeah. So any time I work on with camera gear, that comes it off. Comes off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. So, That's so anyway. wild. But what a story. What a wild. And I know this this piece of wood, this fence slipped, and it just stopped on this ring. I was like, oh my god, what the hell? Yeah. Power of. Uh... <laughs> Canadian ring makers. I know, yeah. That, yeah. They were so happy about and it was only like 85 pounds, and my wife's ring was completely different price. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, but yeah. what a cool okay, but that's so you know what but I was so Carol, happy with it. I'm a prices, mega geek whatever, it, yeah. But yeah. That's so you, right? Yeah, it's so me, man. Yeah. yeah. The fact that I brought it up is so me as well, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great story. And it's movie yeah. based, and I love it. And you're wearing like movie memorabilia but it's, <laughs> no. also, it's like also your life yeah. journey you know what i mean what a great way to mix like yeah. this hugely impactful thing positively in your life and then yeah. also literally this it's crazy man yeah. drop from a movie this was awesome right. oh, awesome man really you, you take it, it easy and stay thank safe you. man you too buddy thank you all right bye-bye bye